Okay, this is actually so cool. So we can do colon colon chords. This will give us the chords of the location we are at. And we'll come over here onto the coast near some water. We'll click spawn land. You can flip the pieces. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Okay, let's try cave entrance. Oh my god. Oh, and you can just move it. Like, look at this. Maybe a nice little broken cart here. There you go. Get a little theme going here. Oh my god, we can literally do anything. Wait, can we use this as a banker? Oh my, okay, I'm only, I'm no more bank booths. I'm only using this as a banker. I'm actually pretty, it's pretty hot. This is peak performance. Hi, babe, it's Vidic here, and a welcome back to Anarchy Scape. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the amazing custom house system where you can literally make anything you want. You can spawn anything from RuneScape in your house, including NPCs. This even includes high IQ moves like placing a fishing spot directly next to a bank. So lots of stuff we can do in there. We're going to check out some really awesome houses that other people have, and we'll be setting up our own. Now, before we get into that, we got some free stuff and we got another giveaway. First of all, when you first sign up, use my referral code VIDIC for some referral tokens. And when you first enter the world, come over to this chest right over here. Type in VIDIC2020 and you're going to get some free donation dollars, which you can use up here at this donator shop to buy free permanent donator status. Easy peasy. We've also been giving away a custom weapon every single video, and we are continuing that. This is actually Pinky's Quick Fire. It is a custom OP crossbow. When you win, you get to choose the colors, you get to choose the type of weapon. You can also do something like a scythe, and then it even has your name on it. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Anarchy Scape in-game name down below. All right, let's go ahead and pick the winner from our last video here, and... Uh, Shadow Z, there you go. Congratulations, buddy. You just won yourself a free custom weapon. Also, really quick, I just want to go over two new OP amulets. One is the first best in slot, and the other one is now the second best in slot. So the two best amulets in the game. The second best in slot can be achieved through the VIP zone, and it is the Ancestral Amulet. We can also examine it to see all of the bonuses here, which is really nice. 30% drop rate bonus and a 4% damage. And it's pretty easy, you come to the VIP zone and you kill zombies. This guy has the right idea, it is a multi-zone, well he actually kind of has the right idea. It's a multi-zone so you can hit multiple at once, um, you can definitely use barrage here or any other multi-attack and just be slaying these guys like crazy. But uh, you know, I guess what he's doing works still too. You can also now combine your torture amulet with a hydrix gem and turn it into the best amulet in the game the Amulet of Souls. And let's just take a look at the Ancestral Amulet. I didn't show you guys this one. It's cute. That's nice. I, but this is the big boy. The longer the necklace, the better. You already know. And we can, of course, examine this one as well. It has a 45% drop rate and a 6% damage bonus, including a blood necklace effect to heal you. And all right, let's go ahead and check out some other people's houses that they put a lot of time and effort into before we get into our own and see what we can do. So it's White Portal just east of home over here. We're going to go to, well, we'll start off with the nicest one, which is Kits. Obviously, he's going to have the best house. Just to make sense. All right, here we are. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I'm in fucking Pablo Escobar's mansion. He's even got chickens. Only birds. This is nice. I don't know how I'm going to be able to compete with this. Where in RuneScape does all this stuff exist anyways? Oh, oh he's got Tancers over here too? <laughs> this, is, this is actually amazing. This is really well done. He's got a, an altar here, he's got a fishing spot right next to a stove. I think he, I mean, he has bank command, so he doesn't need to put a bank here, but you can put a bank there. All right, let's go ahead and check out Apple's house now. Ooh, okay. The flowers are nice, not sure why there's a cage there. Oh, he's he's got the cheese set up. So he's, he's got little uh, areas right here for pickpocketing. He's got a ton of high level rocks right next to a bank booth, some different rune altars, a place to mine S. Oh, you can even make it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, we gotta get a setup here. Didn't hit him. Oh god, there we go. There it is. <laughs> okay, I can't. I don't wanna die in here. There's a lot of yetis. Oh Jesus. Okay, we're here. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, look at all the green dragons. 
This is this is kind of this is animal cruelty, dude. You shouldn't have this much animals in one space. All right, let's try out 789's house. What do we got here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, the flowers. Oh, you can do farming stuff in here too. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of fruit trees. That's a lot of XP. Same idea. A bunch of skilling resources right next to banks. There's a furnace here. A bunch of trees. I like how we set this up in rows. That looks nice. There we go. That, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> the horde. All right, one last one before we go into our own house and see what we can do. Donnie boy. Let's see what you got, Donnie. Last, last, but hopefully not least. Oh, is this it? Oh, we're starting on a fairy ring here. Oh, we get to go through the waterfall. I like that. A range next to a bank chest. Season tree. Wait, oh, it's a donator shop. All the rune crafting altars with an essence. A uh, mine, some nice farm patches. All right, this is awesome. Oh, he's got oh he's got some nice ones. Oh, and he actually put altars in front of his too, so you can go uh, recharge your prayer. Flesh spoiler spawn. Awesome. These houses are a lot more custom than I thought. Like you can basically just do anything, put anything in RuneScape there. So it's time to head into our own house and see what we can do. I think mine is completely empty. Go to my house. Oh, this is it. All right, this is it. We're on a nice beach here. Now we can spawn objects, we can spawn NPCs, and we can spawn lands. Uh, this is the player point where the person is going to spawn in when they join. You can also ban people so they can't enter your house. Oh, and grant other people the ability to edit your house as well. Oh, okay, and I get it now. So there's actually a command to find coordinates of places that you want to spawn. So basically what we're going to do is go to, hmm, what would be a good one? Ooh, the crucible. Can we do this one? This would be kind of cool. So just colon colon cords. Spawn land three three five eight six ten and oh shit! Look at that. Oh my god. So it just takes it takes like a chunk of it, and now we can actually move it. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, so we can. Okay, okay. So this is how you do it. You do this, and then we will place it. And then we want to move over here and we want to place it again except click right now oh look at that this is so good we we'll go right and then we go down oh it's perfect so we go right down left we might just be able to go down look at this this is so cool Ooh, okay this will be a cool one let's try this oh my god look at this this is so great okay let's so we'll, we'll do is we'll place this and then place another one but click left oh my god it works and then if we go down here we just click keep clicking place and then cycling the correct pieces it like automatically fits it for you too okay i like the idea of those people making little spots that you can kill a bunch of monsters in so how about we spawn some hedges bush all right so we can make a little line of bushes here and it seemed like other people were using styles. Place that, and now we've got our own own little contained area. This is so cool, dude. Okay, these Ulfrics were actually pretty nice. Those guys were dropping a lot of charms. That would be a pretty good one to uh, to put in here. We do place, place. Oh, we can just spawn as many as we want. Like, can they go through the bush? Oh, I can go through the. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> it's not, not contained. All right, get me away from here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he has different outfits. We can literally do what the fuck. We can literally change his outfit. Well, he's got, he's got hat. Oh God, what's going on there? All right, let's check out this one. I think this one's gonna be cool. Two nine one six five four seven five. And look at that. Place this, but change it to the the right piece. Not sure what that is. Oh, oh, that kind of works. All right, <laughs> let's go with that. Oh, we're getting fancy in here. This is looking good. There we go. <laughs> this is actually not that bad. We just made a little RuneScape map. Whoa! <laughs> Look at him. It's <laughs> Look, where you going, buddy? Oh my god, that is so funny. It worked. Oh my god, he's bigger. All the Barneys. Get him in here. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, we can literally do anything wait can we use this as a banker oh my okay i'm only i'm no more bank booths i'm only using this as a banker i'm pretty pretty hot 
This is peak performance. Ooh, there we go, okay. So what I wanna do is get like a flat piece of ground and then basically just like, could we paste this over like the entire map and just flatten it all out? That way it's a lot easier to work on. This is, this is nice. Sorry, it's our place. Oh my God, look at this. This is amazing. So it actually just places it on whatever chunk you're on. So it's actually not that hard to organize it well. Once you see where the chunks are, it's pretty obvious how it works. All right, just go ahead and run a fucking train through this town. Just delete everything. This can stay too. That's kind of cool. Look at that. There we go, though. We have like a fucking flat map just to work with, whatever we want to do. Now, we got night coming here soon, so we should probably place a bed here. We can wait out the night. We're going to need a torch so mobs don't spawn. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Well, all right, I got a nice flat canvas to work with. I'm going to be messing around with this more. There's just like thousands and thousands of objects, NPCs, land you can spawn. It's just pretty much endless. There's so much stuff you could do with this besides like useful things like putting fishing spots next to banks. I mean, you could make a maze for people. You could just deck the entire area out like crazy uh, and do like a hide and seek in your house. The possibilities are endless, but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I highly recommend checking out Anarchy Scape. So much unique stuff on the server. I don't think I've ever seen a house system this custom where you can literally design it like you're making your own RSPS. It's crazy. But either way, don't forget to enter the custom weapon giveaway in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified of a little bit more videos. And have a nice day.